My Elven Friends. Welcome back to another High Elven episode in Divide and Conquer with version 5. At this moment, we are preparing our defenses at Harland, Forland, and Mithland for a potential Ardenaim attack on these three locations. I'm gonna do everything in my power to hold these locations intact when the enemy strikes. Uh, we are have started recruiting these Sindar troops here, which should mean that these guys should be doing a bit better than the garrison at Harland. Um, so I'm going to send these four units over to Harland. It's gonna cost us a bit, but uh, I think we need every bit of strength over at Harland that we can possibly get. So these four units are going there, uh, since we are getting these Sindar units at Forland, they should be able to hold the line for quite some time. Is there anything we can retrain? No, we cannot. And I also made sure that Londdare is in the possession of the Ar Adenaim. I just created a unit, a catapult unit, and uh, out-resolved the battle here against the rebels and gave it to the Ar Adenaim for free. Totally for free. And they actually got a garrison here, but that's just some pathetic Saraline mercenaries. So I also teleported one of their family members over here. Just to... I, they took it, and I think that they deserve to keep it. Uh, Gimelsor was the only general out on the field down in the south, so... That's why he's the one that I teleported over here. And he has a small army as well, so... Yeah, I think they deserve to have it in their nation since they actually took it. So, there we go. The Ardenheim actually has a presence here in this area, which I think spices things up a bit. I hope that you all agree. Uh, because, who knows, maybe they will take some cities from the Inadwythian armies, and then we are going to have an uh, Ardenheim army to face later or something. It, I think it could be quite funny. Uh, but um, they're probably going to lose Londa. I mean, they have one region here, they have this general, and Inadwyth has a lot of armies nearby, so they're probably, they're likely to lose it. Uh, but if they don't, then we have some extra spies in the campaign. Elrond is still on his way towards Tharbat. Uh, we are going to claim it instantly. That is the plan. <laughs> we are also going to take Nochwaroglo with Glorfindel and Mount Gram with Lord Eladan. We could attack straight away here. And one thing that is really, really weird, I've never seen this before. I saved the game at turn 80, uh, and then I loaded up the save, and this happened when I loaded, up, loaded it up again. Um, this wasn't the case when I saved the game, but when I loaded the save, this guy just popped up. A suitable husband, I think it might just lag out. It's really weird. I'm going to try and accept it though, but uh, no, he actually joined. That's really weird. And he spawned at Gehuzanur. That's a pretty damn solid region for him to spawn in. Come we are on. going to send him over to Thorin's Halls though. Instead, I think he's going to earn us more money there than at Gehuzanur. Take this way here. Get me a watchtower and move to Thorin's Halls. Let me know. Has this ever happened to you? Science. If you save the game without getting the suitable husband thingy and then load back up into the same save and you just get this message about a suitable husband, it's really weird. But we got it and I'm not going to say no to it. So send in this fine gentleman into Thorin's halls and let him be the governor there. We're going to have a governor for Hamgathol, Thorin's halls, Forlond and Mithlond. Um, the next governor place we should make is probably Harland. And uh, after that, Gehuzanur. But the most important location, locations in this area is going to have a governor. And that is really good. Kirdan is going to destroy Captain Daldin with his army here. And then we're going to try and regroup at Garth Helegov with him and his army. And maybe try and go for Fyrost. They have a port here, they have a war camp as well. But uh, yeah, Fyrost is the region we want to try and go for with Kirdan whenever we can. It's exciting times ahead. Uh, an Adonaim invasion is likely to happen. And we have wars in this area as well. And one thing that I should maybe do here 
because I think that this army is bugging Casa Doom quite a lot, and it looks like they actually lost to it. I think what we should do, I think there's a yeah, heroic victory here somewhere, I think. I cannot seem to hit it though, but I think they lost quite hard against the Rebel Army. I think what Elrond could do, maybe later, is to move over here and t take this army down. Because then I think that Casadum might send some of their armies up to this area instead of sending their armies towards this rebel army. Uh, I'd rather have a full stacked Casadum army up here than down here. I think we can all agree on that. Marriage celebrations. Galadiel and Taldaugion has been married. Excellent news for a great nation. I don't think we should wait too long. Or should we wait? They cannot reach us. Maybe we should wait for one turn before we strike at Mount Graham. Yeah, I think we are going to wait for one turn before we strike that. We're not going to strike straight away. We're going to wait for the end turn to happen. Okay. And of course, yes. I uh, This yes. diplomat was the one that I teleported down here in order to give them Londa. So he's back headed north again. Okay, mark. let's end the turn. Tomorrow's I'm gonna end the turn here. Let's see, see if we can see something happening here. Who knows? Maybe the Ard and I are gonna try and do something funny. Let's end the turn. Oh, these uh, songs in between the turns are so wonderful. It's like a smooth sounding sound. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea. And as I've said for a thousand times now, I'm so looking forward to getting a new computer. I'm so sick and tired of this old bastard. I need a new one. A clean one. And I'm getting closer and closer to the new computer. Uh, because I've, as I've said, I'm going to get it as soon as this series is over. But I'm going to play this series until end. I'm not going to rush through it. And there were some suggestions about the next campaign that I should do. Someone suggested that I should do... Uh, we are just going to out-resolve this one. Uh, suggested that I should do the Wood Elves, the Woodland Realm after this one. And I'm going to play the Woodland Realm later, but for now... No, oh, they actually marched straight to the High Pass. Did we get the military garrison started there? They could actually reach us there. Oh, that's not good. Did we get the military? If we didn't get the military garrison started, I think we have a lot of issues here. I think we are going to be in the shitter. No, but the Woodland Realm is a faction that we're gonna wait with because I've played two Elven campaigns now. I need something else. Something else is some. I really need it. I need to play something else than Elves um, after this one. We did complete the military garrison, so we're going to get three highly defensive units. Is that going to be enough though? I'm not oh, sure. Warriors. We didn't get these guys to join though, that is really sad. But I think those elven defenders, extra armored ones, should probably be enough, shouldn't they? Black Shield Warband, Snow Oak Raiders. Uh, the Raiders... We should absolutely try and focus down with the archers when they attack us. And the Black Shield Warband 923, these guys are tough. The good thing is though, that they don't have a general. This is likely going to be a pretty tough fight. Uh, we, we might lose the high pass again here. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to wait and see what we can do. Town ready to be upgraded, Austin at the we can upgrade it. What's the culture? 74%. We should probably upgrade it. The growth is going so fast here with the ruins of the Gwaithi Mirda in here. It's going to take four turns. We should probably go for it uh, because we're likely not going to be at 80% when this one is done and not one when this one is done either. But when this one is done, we should be able to start the Gwaithi Mirda though. So let's go for the large town upgrade after the communal farming. Uh, Harland Militia Garrison, that's good news for us. Let's go for Military Garrison or go for the Blacksmith here. And send these guys over. We have a decent army here now. Pretty solid one at least. Half a stack. And plus we're going to get two units of defenders there as well. 
Okay, Sagkalla, Hall of Music, more economy please. Art gallery to get the next trade one, I think is a wise move. Let's go for that. Bustra Doom, public fountains over here. Public baths, maybe we should go for them. Uh, the growth is really nice here. We could potentially crank up the tax rate here a bit, but no, that's going to hurt the growth a bit. We could go for high. No, let's go for let's go for low. We want the growth. We want to upgrade this one as soon as possible. Public baths, go for that. Criminal farming over here. Go for a cheap land in the town for a turn. High pass military guys, and we cannot afford anything here. The culture is still at 62 though. We should try and get the Noldo Guard Hall here as soon as we can because we need to get some forces here that are free upkeep for us. So let's get the Noldo Guard Hall whenever we can afford it. See Ackman at it. So make it we can get these guys. We are going to queue them up. Coming of age, my glad. And you spawned in at Busra Doom. That's really good for us because we can send you to Haaland. Um, yeah, move to Haaland, get us some extra money from that region, make them happy. Really good for, that we got another coming of age here. My glad, I'm happy. Welcome to the family. Okay, okay, let's take a look here. Uh, Glorfindel. This is a large town, but we have a catapult. They have quite the garrison. Let's take a look. Are they gonna get even more garrisons here? Let's see. They're getting supported by these guys. No defenders. What do you have? You have the Rudar Huskals. Nothing scary there. I'm scared that it is a large town though, but the forces that they have inside are not that scary. We should move in straight away here. And we should try and do the same here. We still have... I think the Ballista should be able to fire. I hope that they can. We are going to move in there as well. That is the plan. And Elrond just attack this army. Make them go away and go for Thar. But we could attack here straight away as well. We could go for a night attack. And then we just need to nip in here and take these guys down. Um, we are going to try and do that as well. We are going to try and take all of these settlements at the same time. We are going to begin with the hardest one probably, which is Nochwaroglor. Let's begin by taking this one. They are going to get reinforced, but we have these Dunedain scouts. They should be able to utterly smash these bastards into bits. And we have a catapult, so hopefully we should be able to destroy their towers rather easily. Uh, Glorfindel could help with the reinforcement armies as well. Let's move in and let's try and take Nochwaroglor and let's give it away to the northern Dunedain after. Let's move in. Fight to the end. Let's wait. Let's wait for a clear view. There we go. Start deployment. This is what I want to have. Uh, they have three towers and we have a catapult. The first thing we need to make sure though is that we destroy the gate. Um, because if we don't, we're not going to be able to move into the settlement. And you three are going to go for the reinforcement army and utterly smash it straight away. That is the plan. Start the battle. The They're firing at us. Go for the gate straight away. Fire at the gate. Make sure that we kill it. Let's take a look. Do we have anything? No, it's the towers firing at me. But we need to be a little bit closer because otherwise we're going to miss our shots. You are going to move over here straight away and start destroying the reinforcement armies. Let's take a look. We're missing every shot this far. And we're losing a few troops from the towers. But they have run away from the towers, so the towers are not firing anymore. That's good. We need to try and destroy these towers, though. Begin with the gate, though. Let's take a look. We could probably just send in Glorfindel against the Vorgs here. Yeah? You're going to try and just harass down the Vorgs. And Glorfindel, I'm going to charge you against their Ballista. Did we hit anything this time? Yes, we did, finally. Keep loading up those shots. As soon as we have destroyed the gate, we are going to try and move away from here because we're taking a bit of a beating here. You can run as well. 45%. Please bring down the gate so that we can focus on the towers instead. Really want to bring those towers down. 
they can hurt us like hell. We're missing a lot of shots here. That was a hit. Yeah, we hit one there. Okay, here comes the war. Right, raiders, cavalry archers, go in for them. Clawfin is just going to shut down that ballista. Should be in range soon. Maybe we should just move in with Glorfindel against these guys and just shut them down. How's it going? 67. Come on, hit more targets. Hit, hit more, hit more. There we go, you're supporting, you're supporting with fire, that's good. Glorfindel should be able to do this on his own. 67. Come on, catapult. You need to hit better. There we go, that should be a solid hit. Yes, it was. And the other ones missed. Come on, catapults. You should, surely should be able to do better than that. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, that's enough. I think you are just going to go and shut down these guys. You can finish these guys off if you want to. 7 to 8. Should we go even closer? Because we're missing so many shots here. There we go. Well done. We did it. Um, move a little bit closer. Make sure that you actually hit the target. Move closer. And go for the tower. We should be able to do a lot of damage against the tower. Glorfindel, you can help with the ballista here. Let's see. If we hit the tower, we should be able to bring it down rather quickly. Not sure why this one isn't firing. It should be firing. It's just... There we go. Are we hitting anything? Miss, miss, miss. That's the thing with the catapult. It can miss sometimes, and it's really disturbing when it does. Only half the enemy force miss. Remains. Just fall back a the bit, catapult. The field. And run yeah, go back. The, the, the towers are destroying us. Will be ours. Pull back. There we go. They cannot longer fire. Fire now. You did well here. The reinforcements has been defeated. You can move back to this position now. I'm gonna waste all of my ammunition. If we can at least destroy one tower, it would be better than nothing. We're missing every bloody shot though. Every shot is missing. Oh, come on. It's really problematic that we're missing all of these shots. I think we have at least hit one shot though. Oh, come on. One tower. Can we bring down one tower? No, we didn't. Oh my god, that's frustrating. Well, let's send in the melee forces. We do not have too many melee forces in our army. So that is a bit of a problem, and they have quite the defense here. Archers, could you, like, start fire on them? We are gonna wait with the melee troops for now. Go back. Go back. These towers are gonna destroy me. Archers, if you could fire at something, please do. Because these towers are going to annihilate me. You cannot even reach, though. It's a problem. Ah, oh, bloody hell. You can reach something, but I'm not sure what... Savages. You're not going to get any kills on those guys, though. Oh... This sucks. We didn't get to kill a single tower. This is really bad because my guys are gonna get destroyed at the square. My orders are bringing some of them down though, but uh, it's not gonna be enough. Let's send them in. We have no choice. Let's send them in. This is going to hurt a lot. Archers, what I want you to do, as soon as you have pushed through, I want you to try and go up on the walls here. Yeah? They have huskals on the walls though. Oh, these towers, they have a lot of armor piercing. This is not going to be a nice affair. 42% out. Look at the towers. They're just annihilating my men here. Every one of them. What we should maybe do, though, is to try and go for shield wall here. And push through. Push in with the Sindar Spearmen in shield wall to create an opening for us. Yeah. Push in, in shield wall, uh, so that we're able to get up with our actual archers here on the walls. We're going to need archer support here at this area, M make no mistake. Uh, the towers are just going to annihilate, and they have these savages, they're more piercing, they're going to be able to do a lot of damage to me as well. That's a big problem. Here comes the spears. Push through, lads. Warg raiders, three remaining, not a threat at all. 
push through as much as you can. Oh, we're not getting through, are we? No, not enough. Not fast enough. Try to push through a little bit here. Uh, this is going to be a messy fight, but I think that Glorfindel has some decent traits with him, so we might heal a bit of our troops. Oh, this is not going to be a nice fight, is it? We need to get something. We can stop that now. Just fight regularly. The archers need to get up here. This is going to be a, such a messy affair. With the catapult failing to kill a single tower, this is going to be so much pain. Pain all across the board. There are pikes. We need to get one archer up on the wall or something. We are really thinning out already on our troops, and we haven't killed enough at all. How about if we try and send in the archers? Let's send them in. We need to try and act and aid our poor melee forces, because they have a tough time here. Savages, thralls, pikemen, hillmen... Huskals. We should have stayed in the front, close to the towers, because then we should have been probably been able to destroy the towers. Push forwards a bit more if you can. This is such a problematic fight for us. Fight again. We're losing so many men. Pop the ability. We might have created a tiny opening here for the artists, though, to support our forces down here. They're firing on me as well with the walk skirmishers. That is a big problem. Move up there. Quickly, archers. Move up on the walls. Don't wait. We're still relatively intact. Defeat seems certain. That is not a good sign, though. Not looking too great. They have pikes here as well, and their general is just standing here somewhere. Where is he? Is he in the Warg skirmish unit? No, surely not. He's over there. He's in that unit. Yeah, the archers are taking a heavy beating from these bloody towers as well. Bloody hell, I hate the towers. I really do, with all my heart. They're so insanely powerful. And my elves are not doing great at all at the moment. Come on, archers. Get up on the walls. Do not go into the f flipping fight. Get up on the walls. We're going to try and send this arch unit in as well. Oh lord, this doesn't look great, is it? These towers are absolutely shredding through my guys here. And there's nothing we can do about it because my bloody catapult didn't hit the towers. This is going to be a bloody fight. Messy fight. Should we focus on trying to... Just fire, fire, just fire. If you can fire from there, please do. Just do something. If the pikes want to retreat, then good. Ignore the pikes. Let them retreat back. Go for the, kill the savages and the hillmen. Try and kill them as well. We we have these like archers this, on the way we as well. Let's them. send them up on the wall here. We're beginning to weaken these walk skirmishers, which are doing a bit of damage to my melee forces here. We could try and push in Glorfindel here through the thralls to aid. I think we are going to try and do that. We have to. I think. Now the pikes are returning. Get up on the walls. Do not stay where you are. Get up on the bloody walls. You bloody buffoons. I know that I'm using the word bloody a lot. That's my tilt word. <laughs> Uh, we are beginning to shred through a bit of their troops here, though, on the square. They still have a lot of hillmen, they still have a lot of pikes. As long as my other arch unit can get up on the walls, we should be able to do a lot of damage to the pikes as well. Skirmishers are getting beaten back. Oh, this is a messy fight. If we stand these guys over here and aid with shots, these guys are going to get melted by the towers. So I'm not going to send them in. They're just going to get destroyed by the towers. 59. Only half the enemy force okay, remains. you seem to almost be up into position. Wait for them to arrive. We should try and focus on the pikes. 
My melee frontline is weakening, but the Cinder Spearman is quite healthy still. We should definitely try and fire at the Huskulls. Uh, they're more piercing, they're deadly, they have high attack. Just start firing at them. Are we getting the kills we want? We have a decent position here, but we're not getting good kills on these wargs, it feels like. 50 remaining. We're not killing them fast enough. Yeah, the Huskals have started fighting as well. That's a big problem. These archers are going to have to go into melee as well. The pikes are moving in. Well, the pikes, as long as we can fight them close in, we should be able to destroy them quite fast. Yeah, they're already dropping quite fast here. That's good. Building lost. Keep up the fire at the Huskals. Let's try and bring them down. As many of them as possible. Could you now help with the Hillman instead? You can keep on doing what you're doing. Fire here. We are going to win, I think, but bloody hell. These towers are going to be the end of me someday. Pop the ability again, Glorfindel. Aid the lads as much as you can. Yeah, we're weakening them. Well done. Oh, they're moving into combat now. These archers could honestly try and flank. Move to this side here quickly. I'm going to try and go down here and flank them in the back with these archers. We're getting some solid shots down here. Could be to fight the skirmishes again. Uh, one war raider standing over there, still firing at me as well. Only half our force remains. Come on, archers. Go this way quickly. All of you. These guys will not break either because they're generally still alive, so they won't like break. This, we will smash the enemy. These archers are finally moving to the right direction now, though. That's good. What a scrap it was here, and we lost so many troops. 24 pikemen remaining. We're still fighting these bloody hillmen. We are going to flank with these archers. They're moving up on the walls with the pikemen. That's actually problematic if they want to do that. Oh, look at my melee forces. They're getting totally smashed. Move down here quickly. We just need to get rid of these this location here because we're just losing so many guys when we have to fight at the gate. I can't believe we didn't even kill a single tower. Catapult missed every shot. Next time we should move up here to make sure that we actually hit the gate and the towers fast enough. Oh, look at my melee infantry. The archers are finally down here. Let's move here. Let's flank in here. Just end their melee units. Kill them off. Oh, they're coming back. Well, then focus your shots at the house girls. They're coming back. Bloody hell. Okay, you're going to have to take the fight with them. Well, you are just going to fire at them. Well, it's going to be a slog here, I guess. There's nothing we can do. You're going to have to help here. Move up here, even though we're going to take a lot of shots from the bloody towers. You have to help. The spears are getting destroyed as well. Everyone is getting killed. This is not good. I think we are going to heal a bit of our troops, though. As long as these archers are firing at the Huskals, we should be able to bring them down quite hard. These guys have to move in and aid. There's nothing we can do. They have to move in. They still have some pikes left as well. That's a big problem. That is a big problem. Six or seven. Yeah, look at the towers. They're shredding my cavalry onto straight away here. There's nothing we can do about it. We need them to aid. Should we just send them in? Is that the best thing we could do? Just send them in and join the melee fight? We have to. Let's send them in. Let's send them in. Let's try and take this high ground here. Let's push through with the cav. Let's try. We have one sword master's remaining. He's killing some hillmen. That's good. Yeah, the pikes are going to get kills on us. There's nothing we can do about it. Just take this high ground here. Quickly, if you can. 
push through. Create chaos. You're firing at this war greater. Please destroy it. Take the high ground, Cav, quickly, and kill this raider. Oh, you see, what attack? There we go, finally. Take this position. Yeah, all of my melee forces have been wiped out. And there's nothing we can do about it. Walk skirmisher. There we go, he's dead. Thank the lord. Stand over there. This was one of the worst fights that I've ever done. I think. The fact that we didn't kill the cat up the bloody towers. Maybe I should have just gone to destroy the walls as well so that we could actually envelop and uh, surround the enemies instead. That would probably have been better. Well, we are going to win, but uh, ugh, this victory has been a pathetic one. Please just end them. End the pikes. Kill the pikes and we can send Glorfinel inside. I just, I don't want to risk his life unnecessarily here. You can fire at them as well if you want to. Just end them. You're still firing at the hillmen. Go for the pikemen. There we go, he's finally dead. Glorfindel, finish the job. You can just go on the square. They have one guy there. Our men have taken control of the city. Just uh, finish him off if you can. He seems to be quite Our glitched men out. No command the city. There we go, he's dead. Well done. Glorfindel is joining. You can stop. Yeah, just kill the general. Stop firing. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Our men have there we go. Hours. Bloody hell. These flipping towers. I hate them. I really do. And the catapult didn't perform as I wanted it to do. It just destroyed the gate and nothing more. Well, we took it, but uh, we lost a lot and we didn't heal that much either. But we did the work needed, so let's return to the campaign map and let's move with Glorfindel straight away into Lord Eladon's army. Let's move. Oh lord. Well, Angmar is a painful enemy to fight. Execute them, kill them all, uh, get rid of them. And we are going to sack for the extra money. We are going to destroy a few buildings as well. Barracks, get rid of it. And war camp, get rid of it. And those are the buildings we are going to destroy. Let's get out of here. And move back to safe lands. Let's take a look. My diplomat should be close to them. Here we have him. Let's talk to these guys. Give region. Let's take it. Give it to you. For free. And you didn't get a garrison. But uh, hopefully they are going to focus on my attack here. At Mount Graham instead. Go back to friendly territory. Get a tower. Yeah, we have an angry army there. They have a lot of armies. I think... No, you cannot reach. Uh, where do we go? One thing I do know, though, is that we need more forces here. We need more forces up in the north. These axemen are going to move up north straight away. And you are... Oh, but this army is standing in the way. Just... One more tile, and Glorfindel would be able to join this army here. But unfortunately for us, well, with him, he should be able to destroy a lot of troops on his own. So just hide here for a turn. And let's go and take Mount Graham quickly. Or should we wait a turn? Because otherwise, I think Nochwaroglo is going to be reclaimed. Straight away. These guys won't reach. These guys will reach, but I think we can take them down quite easily. By the light of Elbereth, sire. These guys can reach Glorfindel. Both of them. Sire. Yes, we need to get all of the troops that we have available up to the northern area. All of them. And Elrond needs to join here. We need his strength. In the north as well. And he's almost going to be here soon. He just needs to take Tharbat and Keluniak. It's still a pretty damn garrison region though. 
and that oh. makes everything a lot more problematic. Yes, my lord. Well, let's take Thorman. Over here, they only have two units. Lyra and Spearman and this general. So, uh, we should be fine. Uh, we're probably just gonna send in these two units when we have broken through with the Ballista. Let's go in, let's take Thorbert. This city might be rather painful to take as well, because they have towers here as well, and we only have one Ballista. Uh, but the thing we need to focus down is the gate, because I don't think we have enough ammunition to take down the walls here, so... We just need to take down the gate and then move in. Let's take a look at these elites as well. Finally, for the first time, we can see these guys. Noldor veterans, Noldor defenders and Noldor archers. They are really excellent troops. They really are. Start the battle. Oh, they can actually reach us all the way over there. Fall back a bit then. Ah, you're going back and forth. Just go back. Bloody hell. I, uh, come on! Ballista, go back. <laughs> oh, these sieges. Oh, they are going to be the end of me. Telling you. Just fire the gate. Please break through. Imagine if we're missing every shot here. We're hitting it bits here. Take that off. Just hit the gate, please. Uh, one of my cabs is going to scout and see how much damage we have done to the gate. We might need to move closer to the gate. If we don't, if we're not hitting enough, eighteen percent, twenty-three. I mean, ah, is it enough? Let's move closer. We have to move closer, I think. Archers, go a bit closer. See if you can fire at them. We have to move closer. We're gonna have to use these guys as a shield for my ballista. Leodan Spearman, ballista, get as close as you. Okay, from there, fire. The towers are destroying me at the moment. Are they going to move out of the settlement? Uh, are we even going to be able to do this? I'm not sure. 36. These bloody t places are so well defended. I think we're missing too much here. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this. We have to get, get as close as we can. Get as close as you possibly can. Get, get the ballistas over here. They're destroying my ballista here. We need to get as close as we possibly can. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do this. We need to hit every single shot here. Otherwise, it's game over. Get as close as you possibly can, ballista. Oh, this is hurting my eyes. Oh, another ballista gone. <laughs> get as close as you can. We have one ballista left. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they can hit it. Come on, ballista. Oh, they're shredding through my guys here. Go closer. There we go. Fire from there. Please. I want you to stop firing. Yeah, just fire. Yeah, there we go. You're hitting the gate. <laughs> oh my god. I think we are going to be able to do it, but uh, this was close. We are going to be able to break through here. No, we are not. Because I don't think we have the ammunition. No! No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bloody hell. Oh my god. This episode is clearly not going my way. I think I'm just not in the zone to play this game at the moment because I'm just failing at everything I'm doing at the moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, Elrond fell back to this position. We are going to try again, and the next time we have to get a ram or ladders or something. Um, it was a long time ago since I failed this much in an episode. Uh, the Battle of Nochwer was a victory, but also a failure, and this was a huge failure. It's actually quite embarrassing. Well... I'm also a human being, so I guess I can also make mistakes sometime. Oh, they actually got a general there. Nice. Um, well, we're just gonna do it again. Bloody hell. Well, at least you can have a laugh or two at the failures that is going on here. 
Um, I'm not used to failing this much, I can say. We are going to try and take Mount Grab. We only have a Ballista, though. Is it going to be enough? I'm not sure. But we have a Ram, so we can break through. Let's assault this one, and let's actually take a region now without losing our entire army in the process. <laughs> let's try. Fight to the At least we have a Ram this time. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Because then we are sure that we are going to break in. And that is something I need to be. Oh, bloody hell. The start of this episode hasn't been that nice. <laughs> uh, just send these guys in there and start the battle. Go for the gates. We're not even going to use the ballista here. The archers, though, are going to be used. Move up a bit as well. Let's fast forward. We are going to just try and harass them down with our archers as much as possible and weaken them that way. I'd rather not send in my melee forces here, I just want to use the archers only, if possible. If they go aggressive we might need to send something in. And then we're probably going to send in the Sindar Spearmen and Sindar Axemen or the Linda Guards here or something. Oh, it's taking a bit of a time for you to go up here. Going really slow, but you're getting there, eventually. There we go, you've reached, you're firing, do not fire, because I don't think you're going to get any kills. Where are those defenders they're standing? They are standing, okay, they're moving straight over here. Are they going to just rush out of the settlement? Maybe we could allow you to fire, honestly. The battering ram has done its work. We have done our work. Moved out down. Could you stand over there and fire at them? Would be nice. I don't think you should fire just yet. Stop firing. Get the Dundam bodyguard. I told you to stand over there. Stand over there. Get to that position now. There we go. And fire at will on these defenders. There we go. Probably getting some kills on them here now, I think. Save your ammunition. You're getting a few kills on them. Yes, you definitely are. That's good. Well done. Let, let him fire his entire quivers on them. Just weaken them as much as possible. And I think we're probably going to send him in to the melee fight as well to save the lives of these troops, because I think we're going to need them. We're likely to be attacked here by Angmar. Pretty damn soon. Go for the ones that are close. How is it going? You're not firing. Not every one of you are firing. Go forwards even more. Stand over there. Just keep on firing. There we go. Empty your quivers. You're doing well here, Eladon. You're doing really well. Kill the healthiest units first. Oh, he's getting a lot of kills here. He really is. These defenders are not having the best days. The enemy are badly bloodied. Yeah, we've killed 53% with Eladan only. It's going to be nice to see how many kills he's got in this fight. I would guess quite a lot. Just empty your entire quiver and we're going to send you into melee against them. You should be able to annihilate them all quite easily on your own, I think. Oh, you've actually started fighting them. Well, go in then. The battle is very much in our favor. Losing some Victory units here. Where is Ella done? Is he already bloodied up? I hope not. Oh, he's getting a kill there. Well done, Ella done. Nice kill. Let's see if this axe wielding guy can get a kill on this unit because he's stabbing Ella done in the back. That's not nice. We need to make sure that we kill this unit here. There we go. Well done. Uh, 41. Oh, they're moving back, aren't they? It looks like they are. 
They are moving back. Well, then feel free to fire some more on them. Give them some more volleys. We're still one guy fighting here. Let's see if we can kill him. He should die. One more poke on him should kill him. We're firing at him as well, so... There we go, he's dead. Fast forward. Empty your quivers and go into melee and destroy them all. There we go. Begin with this unit. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, we're fighting inside of this place here. I cannot quite see where Eladon is located. Pop the village as well. I do believe it's not going to matter though. We are losing some units though. We are. I don't like that. 17 remaining. The entire fight is going on here, inside. We cannot see what is going on here. I don't like this. Because I cannot see where Eladan is located. We are destroying them quite fast though. I think he's going to be able to survive. I certainly hope he's going to survive this. Are we about done soon? There we go, we're done. Move for the next unit. Ella done, where are you? You're over there. You're not even bloodied up. Okay, good. Then push in. Quicken this up a bit. Kill them all. Get the archers inside. Let's start harassing down their general. Form up somewhere around there. Cavalry archers you can join in as well. And help. Do not fire. Hold your fire. Just move in. They have three guys remaining. Just kill them off, please. There we go. When wonderful work. Get the archers to stand over here as just so that they can fire at them. Take fire at will on, and you're gonna go up here and start harassing them. Just stand here. There we go, we're beginning to harass them. The archers are doing their best to weaken them, and the cav is just firing in their backs. We should be able to do a lot of damage to them with these these shots here. If you form up over there, try to fire from two different locations. Kite back. Where are they going? I have no idea. One thing I do know though is that we're killing them quite hard. Are they moving my autos again now? Let's see if we can kill them off. Kind back. See if the Cinder archers can kill them. There we go, they only have one general left. Let's focus him down. One more volley should absolutely do the trick here. No, you're forming up. Don't let them charge. Oh, he's not gonna die, is he? Move up on this bloody location then. Just finish off their general, please. Get up there. There we go. You can move away. This should be enough, surely. Let's take a look. Oh, he's a tank. Is he surviving? Yes, he survived. Cinder Archers, just get up here and finish the job for me, please. You should be able to. Surely. No? Come on. One more volley should surely do the trick here. <laughs> what is this? How on earth is this guy still alive? I, I, what is going on here? Is he an immortal god? There we go. Bloody. What was that? 
How many hit points did he have? 591 kills on the Dunedain bodyguard though. That's absolutely well done, Lord Eladan. Well done indeed. Uh, we at least have done something great in this episode. We've taken this region, uh, so I'm happy about that at least. Well done, Eladan. Finally, something great in this episode. I'm happy. Let's uh, sack it and uh, let's destroy the Mount Grum stables. Uh, Orc pit, get rid of these disgusting buildings. Everything else we can keep. Begin by getting the artist studio straight away. Get me that culture. Okay, good. Uh, we are going to go back to Tharbad. We have to take it. Uh, they're probably going to block me with this army though this time, which is really frustrating. And we cannot get any mercenary boat either. Doesn't look like it. Well, it's a problematic... Uh, we're living in problematic elves. times. Like the wind. Take it for the elves. Let's take a look at this army. Only melee forces, militia, pikemen, firebeard warriors, laborers, militia, firebeard. Okay, only melee, no ranged troops whatsoever. Let's move in and let's take this army down as well. Wipe the flight from well, it looks like we have a map full of trees this time, which is something I really not do not enjoy at all. Uh, just start the battle, harass them straight away, make them come to us, even though we're the ones attacking them. Just start harassing them. We are going to try and pull back to safer locations. We want to try and avoid melee combat at all costs. Kirdan is going to be the one fighting them in melee if anyone gets to fight. Are they moving for my reinforcement army? Hope not. Take a higher ground quickly. Not entirely sure. If you move, just go over here. We we don't even want to use you in this fight. Five-year warriors are ge getting quite close to us. <laughs> we are smashing them though. So I'm not feeling too afraid. Eridlu and Militia moving in as well. Give them another volley. There we go. Let's fall back even further. Let's try and focus on another unit this time. Go for the Militia. Okay, move back again then. They're falling back, so get closer to them. Go for the militia. I would like to... They're going for my... Just retreat. Go away from the battle map. I don't need you here. If you're taking the long way... Where are you headed? Just retreat back to the woods. <laughs> Bloody hell. Come on, guys. You're going the absolute wrong path here. Or are you going to have to run all the way through the battlefield to retreat? Surely not. Yes, you are going to get, do that, aren't you? Well, just run away. You're just running straight to the enemy. Take this way here. They really want to be a pain in the arse, it looks like. Just run away, please. They're just following this unit, it looks like. Go over here. Finally, going in against my artist, though. Finally, let's uh, climb back. Some more. No, you just, you want to run into the fight when you want to withdraw. You're on the right pal path, this though. That's good. Go for the pikes. Fire at them. They can be a bit scary. There we go, we're weakening them though, quite hard. We're doing well here. Okay, back again, quickly. Take this little hill here. Go for the Fire Bear Warriors. You can go for another unit, so you can go for the Pikes. Just end them all. 
Where's Kirdan? He's over here. Uh, we have a cavalry we could use to charge them down with. Uh, you can run away as well. I'm not going to use you. Kirdan is going to be used though. They have lost half their men. Kite back even farther. Kirdan, you can join. Kite back with them. Eridlu militia, not a big threat. The biggest threat is the pikes, I would say. And they have quite a few of them. But they're quite weak now, though. We have killed a lot of them, so... Kirdan, if you want to, you can block here. Catch us. Fall back. Kirdan, I want you to start fighting with them. You've catched these guys, that's good. They have been caught. If you go back now, focus down the little militia there. Cab, where are you? You're over there. Go for the little militia, just destroy them. Pop the ability as well. The battle is very much in our favor. Slow down the speed a bit. Charging these guys down, they're broken. Good, ignore them. These guys are rebels, they won't survive anyways. Good, let's move for the laborers. What do we have here? Firebeard warriors, feel free to focus them down. You're fighting the pikes now. How did it go here? We smashed them to bits. They are gone. Well done. Are you focusing down the firebit warriors? Yes, you are, it looks like. Good. If we charge the pike in the back with these cavalry forces, we should be able to break these guys, I think. I think they only have seven remaining. Just nip out of there. Kill and move for the militia instead. Oh, the pikemen are still in the fight. Well, these are dwarves, so their morale is really high. Go for the firebird warriors. Our men have slain the oh, enemy they're gonna break now because their general is dead. Will lose their will to fight. Yeah, they're broken. Well done. Behold how our Good, you can chase ranks. if you want to, get some extra experience. The get one more chevron, would be nice if you could get that. Oh, you're not going to get it. Let's exit the battle, we clear victory. We lost one victory guy, I'm pretty pleased today. with that. Let's take a look at the kills, and uh, Mithla Nobles got the most. Uh, well done, well done indeed. We've defeated their wretched Good. Army. Now that rebel army shouldn't cause devastation to us anymore. You're going into Thorin's Halls. There we go. We're now growing here. That's good. You can move back down to Fallon. Yeah, let's take a look. We have a big army inside here. We have two turns until these guys are in. Let's get some more javelins here. Three turns though. It's a long time. Get some archers. Maybe the pikes would be more beneficial. Let's get the pikes. You're headed down there. You are going to take... Um, just move towards Garth Heligoff. You're going to go with. And this army is going to attack Fuirost. Let's take it down. It's only a town. They don't have any disgusting towers. They will have some towers, but not the OP ones. So we're gonna be quite fine in that regard. I'm hoping. And Nochvorogla is likely to be taken back by Angmar. I'm sensing that they're likely to take it back. I'm hoping that the Northern Dune and Iron, if we're lucky, could have an army nearby. That could go in there and take it back. I'm not sure that's gonna happen though. One thing I do know is that we need to send more armies up to the northern parts. Okay, let's end a turn. We're likely to be attacked by this Gundabad army as well. And if we lose the high pass again... Uh, it's not going to be nice, is it? 
we need to keep that region and we need to strengthen it. And yeah, we're just getting attacked all the time there. We need something strong there to hold. We need a cavalry unit there as well so that we can perform some charges, I would say. And if we get the Noldor barracks there, we could get the Amania Rangers and uh, yeah, and the charging cavalry as well. So let's see if Gundabad is going to attack me. There's a lot of battles in this uh, in this episode. It really is. Thorbad just needs to be taken. And there we go. We are getting reinforced though with these archers. That is good. We have the Elven defenders. They are pretty damn upgraded this time. We're not that strong, though. Remember that. We have three of these guys. We have the general. We have an archer. Only one archer. Uh, but we have these guys as reinforcements. Uh, let's move in. And let's see what we can do against this Gunnabad army. We have to win here. We cannot lose this fight. We have to keep the high pass. Let's move in. Put an end to this evil. Okay. Start deployment. So let's take a look at these elven defenders that have been upgraded. Yeah, look at these guys. What's their stats? 11, 17. That's okay. That's okay. That's pretty damn solid stats. Um, 7 armor, 7 defense skill, 3 shield. I mean, that's an okay stat. Okay, can we get inside? We can get inside on the other side. Uh, so that means that the cinder artists should be able to aid us here. Yeah? Let's uh, do the same thing like we did last time, but this time we're not going to go to the flank with the archers because I think that was the thing that made them uh, go through and try and push and flank me. So we're just going to stay like this. Start the battle. You are going to run into position as soon as you're in on the battle map. And the general is going to be needed where, where their captain is. Rush in here. We need you here as fast as you possibly can. Move in. What do we have here? Is the are these the orc raiders? Yes, it is. Move forwards then, harass them. These are the orc raiders. They are the weakest unit that they have against us. So let's try and go and harass them a bit. Try and do some damage. Are you moving? Yes, you are. But you have glitched out for some reason. Stand you over here. See if we can get some cheeky shots on them. Uh, come on, guys. Why are you not forming up accordingly? Bloody hell! This is. Just making everything so much... Okay, well, we didn't get to shoot at them because uh, the end, my unit just glitched out entirely, so... And now they can run, at least. No, not everyone. They're walking as well. Come on, guys, run. Bloody hell. There we go, you're actually running. That's good. Good. Go back in this position, please. Oh, my lord. Uh, Black Shield Warband is not the unit we want to fi uh, fire at. But uh, let's go for it. Uh, you are, you're in position. Stand over here. Just uh, fire at the Black Shield Warriors over there. Where's the general? It's, it's in this unit. The captain is in this unit. Okay, that's good. I want their front line to be engaged to my front line before we flank around with the archers because otherwise I think they're going to try and move my archers and we do not want that. We don't want that. My guys are taking a heavy beating against these black ships. We need to try and flank but uh, yeah, we have to try. Let's move to the flank. They're likely to move to the flanks again though and try and chase my archers like they did last time. General, you're going to aid against a captain if you can. He should be somewhere around here. I want you to join in there. Go in. Aid. You have moved to the flank here. Go over there and fire at them. You're getting into position as well. Yeah, they're chasing after me with the Black Shield Warband there. Get some shots off quickly at the Snow Oak Raiders. You're going to have to get some shots off here before we flee back because they're. Yeah, look at them. They're chasing after me. Get as many shots as you possibly can here. Quickly, they're just run. They're fast. They're pretty fast, these guys. Let's take a look. Compare the stats. 9, 23, 10, 16. Well, we're not going to win that engagement in melee, are we? Well, you're going to have to kite back. And the unit has glitched out once again because we have stragglers here. 
Are they going to get the flank again? It looks like they might get that. With the Calaquendi Lord support though, we are doing well. You're, gonna, you're just, just going to have to run around here in circles. Don't get caught here. Don't get caught. If they flank me, you're going to fire in their backs. You have a decent position though, but they're getting closer. Uh, there's nothing we can do. We need to kite back. We're going after my autos again. It's the same thing. But we are winning the melee engagement here with the support of this general. I think. As long as we can kill their captain. There we go. There we go. We kill the captain. Captain has died. It's a good, good sign. Get rid of this unit here and then flank around on this unit. They're wavering. That's good. Blow the horn. You can go to this side. Let's try and do a little bit of a maneuver here. Try and move back to this side again. Get some shots in the back. We are winning here in the center and we are probably winning here as well. These guys should break in any second. We are going to win this fight, I think. Are you going straight? Okay, they're going after this unit. Keep kiting. You can stop city. and harass these Snowhawk Spears a bit. Surely these guys should break soon. 15 remaining. Oh my god, this is actually quite close. Okay, they've stopped chasing the elves. And they're now chasing the me instead. Go to this position. They're not breaking though. They're never breaking. That's a big problem. The enemy that is a big bloody. problem. They, have lost they need to break. Men. Are we getting Our caught here? Not yet. Just run run away from the them. City. Don't let them catch you. They are going to flank me here. You're going to try and meet them up. Pull up over their archers. Just fight, fight the Snowhawk Spears, General. This is not good. They are never breaking. This is insanely frustrating for me. We, we at least have this unit. Okay, they've stopped. Give them some volleys. They're returning to the actual fight then. This unit is not a problem. This unit is a bit of a problem. They're still quite healthy. Move over here, archers, and fire. Just, just fire. Just fire. We don't have time to wait. Just fire if you can. Where's my general? Oh, he's getting fought. In, he's getting slashed in the back. They're going for my archers, aren't they? Help the general. Fire in their backs, please. Not, are they chasing after my archers again? Yes, they are. Okay, they're running away. Move back here. Not sure what is going on. My general surrounded, though. That's not a good thing. Can you please form up? Please. Our form up. Has command of the city. Oh, look at them. They're the just walking. Come on, form up into position. Please. Please form up into position. They're going off my archers again. Kite away. My general's still alive. He's likely to die because he's totally surrounded here. But he's keeping them at bay for the moment. He's in the thick of it. He's in a decent position at this moment. Keep firing at them. The captain is dead, but they're still not broken. Black Shield warriors are wavering, but they're... There we go. They're broken. Good. Um, shaken. Eager. Okay, you're going to try and flank the Snowhawk Spears. I think my archers are going to win. How's it going here? You're still getting chased. Keep kiting them. Give these guys a charge in the back. Yeah, we're not going to break them with that charge, but we might hurt their morale a bit. 32 remaining of these guys. I think we should just maybe charge them in the back to break them that way. I think it's going to be faster. They're moving away from us. Give them some shots. I don't want my general to die. Doesn't They're wavering though. Come on, kill these Snowhawk Spears. Charge these Black Shield Warriors in the back. We should be able to break them that way, I the think. Seems to be in our favor. Let's break From them. We don't want our general to die here. He needs to survive. They're broken. Good. All of you, folk. Are these guys broken? Yes, they are. They are. Good. Or just move up there. You're going to move up as well. Calaquendi Lords, you are not going to fight anymore because I think you are likely to die in a few hits. One or two hits more and you're likely to die. Go closer. You, defenders, you can just go into melee with them straight away. 
We have one here, but it's close. It's close. We need more troops here. We need more. I cannot keep doing this uh, like I'm doing now. It's just not nice at all. Wait for them. Don't go in yet. Don't go in yet. I'm really happy that we did get the military garrison. That's what saved us this day. And we need more troops here. Desperately. We won't be able to hold otherwise. We're getting some good shots on them here. Keep up the fire. Oh, they're just standing there now. Well, just fire every shot that you have then on them. Yeah, just kill them with archer fire. These guys are firing in their backs. They are going to drop quickly. I'm so happy that the general is alive. That, it was a close one. Once again, it was a close the call. No longer in command of the city. And the battle. The Heroic victory. We lost 167 guys. Um, most of them were the defenders. It was a decent victory, but it was, it's close. It's close. It really is close. Uh, this is a painful battle map. Sometimes. Uh, well, we did it. And I'm never going to run forth again here when they attack. I'm going to stay here. Because my my um, Linda Bowman just glitched out and they walked and we couldn't get there in time. Yeah, it's just oh, painful. Well, we did it. I'm happy about that at least. Great. Great. Let's execute. Uh, get those archers into the settlement. Look at that. Another good and bad army. Uh, yeah, they're attacking me at Mount Graham. Are they the going people. to... They took back Nochwar Yeah, they did. They took it back straight away. That was a waste of time, giving it to the Northern Dunedain. We need Elrond up here. We need his army. Gondor raises an army. Um, okay. Gondor doesn't do too well. Bladesmith's Guild, let's get that. Anorian overrun. Not good. The One Ring has been located at Dolguldur. That is close but not that close because we cannot get through these places it would be nice to grab the ring though it's a Dolguldur, is Sauron about to get the ring back Dolguldur is a sub-faction of Mordor so I wonder if he's gonna get the ring back Dunlendings and the clans of Enidwyth are oh can we, uh, bloody 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 hell they reinforced it a bit as well oh god these tiny failures that I've been doing in this episode has made everything a lot harder for me. Fallon leather worker. It's good to go for the blacksmith straight away. We're getting these troops. They are going to be completed in time. That's really nice. Arnon and the Rod Art Gallery. Hall of Music. Let's go for that. Famgathol leather tanner. Let's go for the great art gallery perhaps. It's going to Give some extra trade and more culture increase. Uh, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't go for it. Let's go for it to quicken everything up a bit more. Make, make that into a decent military location. Um, go for the large town upgrade here at Movatath. Do we have the... We have the militia garrison here. Glorfindel... We have a decent defense here, but they have a big army, don't they? Let's take a look at their army. They actually have quite a large army. Uh, they have a lot of wargs, Mount Graham Marauders. But we have spears. I'm not too afraid of their wargs. But the melee forces can do a bit of damage to me. But we have some archers. Glorfindel, I think you should move back to Movatar for now. Wait for further reinforcements. Get in there, please. Come on. You are moving up there as well. We need more troops there. Can we get any troops? We're getting the Noldo troops. Get these guys as well. We need them all. Kamat Brin, get these troops. Get these guys as well. We need everything at the moment here. We have heavy fighting ahead of us against Angmar. So get everything. Send them all up north. And in this area... You are moving over to Harland. 
uh, to make us earn a bit more money there. That's nice. Still no retraining. Yes, we can retrain these units. Let's do it. Retrain the boats as well. Why not? Can we get any more troops? Sindar units can be recruited. Kellek when the Lords 20 turns. Mithlar Nobles 25 turns. What's the culture at Austin Evil? 75. We're getting there. We should go for the upgrade and then the Gwaithi Midnight after, I think. Kildan, I want you to move towards Fuirost. Get over there. We must give up the road. Can we get the Noldor barracks here? Yeah, I don't think so. What's the culture? 14%. Get the cab, get the archers. They are going to join and then move for this region. Please, Kildan. Do it for the greatness of our empire. Oh. Bri has taken Barketa. Nice. Well done, Bri. Well done. We need strong allies. I really need all of these armies against Angmar. I want to send everything up there. But uh, we need to have them there for now. That's just how it is. We cannot escape that. And what we're going to do now. We are just going to end this take army. It take it down. And then move in to Thorbad again. And then get some ladders and things like that. We have to get it. We have to. I'm afraid that Inadwyth is going to take this back as soon as we give this one away to the Northern Dunedain though. I really am afraid of that. Um, I think that they might do that. But we're going to try and give it away to them. Let's move in and let's take Captain Mashbram down. Start deployment. Oh, it's a nice battle map, this one, I have to say. It's an open, nice battle map. You can see everything that is going on. I like this. These are the maps I like when we're going aggressive. Uh, let's uh, send up the archers like this. Ballista, you can stay where you are. Fire at will as well. Cavalry. Let's group you guys up as well. Start the battle. You can move forth and start harassing them if you want to. What do you want to fire on with the Ballista? These guys look pretty damn powerful. 819, okay, they're not that great. These guys are effective against armor. I think this is the only we want to fire on. The uh, Ambaxtoy. Ambaxatoy. Fire at them. You're gonna get a few shots off, not too many though. Cavalry, make ready to charge. And the why this really weak to archer fire. Uh, don't focus that unit. Try and focus this. Oh, they're firing at me. Okay. F pull back then. Don't let them. Elrond can fire from this position as well. That's good. Start harassing them, Elrond. Be a good lad and start doing that for me. Go just form up over there. See if we can get some cheeky charges off here. These are spears. You can fire at them if you want to. Getting a few kills on these guys. Foul on border guards. Some spears. Key for huntsmen. Could we go for a charge on them maybe? Let's go for a charge on the huntsmen. Try and interrupt them. Is this their general? I think it is. Let's try and kill him with a charge. That was a nice one. They're already shaken. Well done. Pull back because I think we might be firing on that unit. Fire at the these guys instead. See if we can kill the general here. He should be located here. Somewhere he's over there. Let's see if we can kill him. I think we might be able to. Yeah, he died. Well done. Him, his will lose their well done, fight. lads. Pull out. Yeah, don't get caught here. Pull away. Pull away. Cavalry Archers, you're still just harassing them. That's good. You can take this path here. Uh, what? What is this? Is this something? It's Axemen. Charge them down if you want to. They're moving in. You can move away now. Go away. 
melee forces, it's time for you to go into combat. You are the one. Go in there and help. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, these guys are broken. Feel free, cavalry archers, to harass these guys. You guys can harass the guys in the back. Oh, they're broken, all of them. Okay, just keep run for them, run for them, chase them. Border guards, border guards, spearmen. Something we do not want to fight. Border guards, you you can focus down these spears if you want to. Yeah, just fight the huntsmen here. Get them into melee. Go over that. You can start firing at the border guards there. Flank these huntsmen, break them. War blades. Uh, we should be able to charge them rather effectively as well, I think. Now oh, they have spearmen there. Just take this way. Let, let our melee troops deal with them. You're chasing. Go, go over here, melee troops, please. Try to ignore these guys. They have a lot of space there. Tie these guys. That these guys up into melee and end them. You can go for charge on those guys if you want to. You're moving in for these bloody. units here. They have lost half their men. These guys are broken. Feel free to annihilate them. You're gonna focus these guys down. You can charge them in the back. They're already broken. Well done. If you charge these guys from the side, we might be able to break them. Everyone seems to be broken. War blades should break here as well. Maybe pop the ability as well. Might help. If you charge these guys in the back, stop firing. You've done enough here. They're broken. Chase them down. These guys are broken as well. Chase them down. These guys are. Oh, they're broken now as well. Chase them down as well then. Oh, the huntsmen are still alive. Kill them. Chase them down. Charge them. Destroy them. Continue. Kill them all, please. Everyone needs to die. These units are really needed at the Angmarin front. Maybe we should focus on getting Angmar destroyed instead. If the Northern Dunedain won't be able to keep Tharmat, maybe we should focus on getting Angmar destroyed with everything we have instead. I think we might want to do that, honestly. Let's exit. Third lost, we killed this entire army. Well done, today. good job. Let's take a look at the kills. Uh, Noldor Archers got the most kills there. Well done. Okay. Execution. There we go, moving again this time. We are going to siege for one turn this time. We are going to get the ram, get some ladders. Towers, I'm not sure that we want to get because they're just going to be destroyed by their towers. So... No siege towers, only ladders. I think they're the Keep ones that can actually work here. Yeah. And while I record this, I see some comments regarding the Londa thing that I did. I see that it's about a 50 50. Um, they might just lose it to in a life, but uh, it's a 50 50 thing here, it looks like. What you guys think that I should do. Many people wanted me to do what I did here. And many, many people didn't want me to do this. But, uh, well, I did it. Let's see if they can hold it. Who knows. Uh, yeah. Let's wait a turn until we get some ex actual equipment to, <laughs> to take Tharbad. <laughs> uh, this time. We need it. We're under attack here. Not a problem though, I don't think. Uh, we are going to destroy that army. We have a bit stronger garrison. Can we get any mercenaries here? No, nothing. I haven't gotten a single mercenary in the entire campaign. Any mercenaries here? Morvatarth, can you get, get me anything? No, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
How about over here? Come, my brothers. No. Over here, elves. Austin and Hill region, can you give me over anything? Here. I almost I thought we way. could for a second, but no. Elrond, Come, no. Brothers. You cannot get me any mercenaries either. Not a single mercenary. By the light of Elbereth. Over here, elves. Sire. No. Okay, no mercenaries for us then. <laughs> that is how it can be sometimes, I guess. Well, okay. We should probably... They took this region back with a large army. They have a lot of armies, I think. It looks like they have a lot of armies, Angmar. They seem to be really powerful, but... The thing is, while we attack them here, and while they concentrate their forces here in this area, I think the Northern Dunedain and Bree are probably doing some good damage to them. Uh, I, I think Angmar is sending everything they have against us. This army is here. I think they're trying to do everything that they can to stop us. I don't think there's much more we can do in this turn, so let's just end it, shall we? Yeah, let's end it. Uh, let's see how things are going. Are we going to see the Angmar attack? Are they going to attack me? Or are they going to wait? We have a decent garrison in there, so I'm feeling confident that we should be able to bring that army down. I don't see it as a problem at all at this moment this has been an action-packed episode and I have done a few mistakes the Nochwara Glow attack was a waste of time completely we did lose a lot of troops in that attack and we didn't the Northern Dunedain couldn't keep it they didn't get a garrison or anything so it was a waste of time. Here they come though. Captain Eohanan is moving in with the Ballista. And a lot of Mount Graham Raiders in this army. Um, pretty scary army, honestly. But we have Eladan armor piercing. We have these Cinder Archers as well. We have these Linda Bowmen. We have some spears. Let's do whatever we can do here. I mean, Angmar is a tough faction to fight, I think. They are a strong faction, they really are. Let's move in and take them down. Fight to the end. All right, start deployment. Where do we want to form up? The Ballista is definitely going to stand over here. They're attacking from this side. Okay, it's not this side. Uh, the Ballista and the Archers should probably stand over here. Like this. And harass them as much as possible. And the question is... What units should we have here? Maybe everyone. Yeah, you know what? Form up into a solid defense here, I guess. They have a ballista though, I don't like that. I don't like that they have a ballista. Take that off. And start the battle. You are not going to fire yet. Do not fire. Wait for their arrival. Yeah, here they are. In all their glory. This is not nice. I do not like this at all. Really would like to try and destroy this ballista when they move inside. If we can. I'm really afraid of that one because they could assassinate something here. From our nation. But I think they need to go into the settlement in order to hit us. So we should be able to have some time to destroy that ballista unit. Let's take a look. Um, Angram infantry, nothing scary the there. Gates. These guys are a bit scary. The armor piercing units are scary. These guys are pretty solid as well. They have a lot of walks as well. They're going to harass me down, I think. Just let them break through. Take that off with you as well. If their ballista moves inside, we're going to try and focus it down with archer fire. Just end it quickly. Blast their eyes. Yeah, they're broken the through. Ram is through our gates. Go for guard mode, I guess. You should probably go for shield wall. You're going to be a lot more 
solid in terms of your defense if you do. Oh, here comes the Wolf Raiders. Are they going to go into melee with us? I think they are. If they do, we are just going to annihilate them. Feel free to give these guys some shots. Ballista. I ideally fired something in the back. They're going straight for my spears. That's good. Yeah, Ballista, do not fire at these guys. That's not the ideal target. They're moving in for my spears. That's really good for us. Archers, if you could focus on something else. Go for the savages for some volleys. Oh, they're broken straight away. Okay. As soon as you can reach these longbowmen, fire at the longbowmen. You're taking some damage here from these javelins. Their javelin troops are doing a lot of damage to us. Yeah, they have a lot of wargs. My spears are doing well against them. Axes just help as much as you can. They're firing at the savages. Longbowmen are actually moving in. Give them some volleys. You're not firing at anyone at the moment. Fire the hoose calls. If we continue like this, we Form up accordingly, please. This Our unit is moving in. We've killed the general. general. That's good. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. We're actually quite weak here. They're, they're just pushing through with their bloody walks. Pop the ability for me, please. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're bringing them down. All right. Go for the hoose calls. Let's take a look. Can you reach these? As soon as you can reach the, uh, fire at them. And don't. Oh, you're switching position. Please don't. You have an uh, excellent position here. Just stop and stay and fire from this position. Oh, we're killing our own troops here. Just fire the blob in the back here. My spears are holding barely. Hey, you are not doing anything yet. You can fire as well. Move over here and start firing a bit. Well, this is going to be one army. Utterly defeated. Just fire down there. These wargs, though, I think we might need to fire on the wargs. They are actually the winning the fight here against me, I think. They have lost half their men. They're doing rather well. Please aid. These guys are routed. They're fighting the Huskals. That's not a nice opponent for you to fight. They're starting to fire a bit on the wargs here. My spears are just too surrounded. They're firing at the longbowmen. Okay, you can do that. Poor, poor spears. They just got so surrounded here. These guys are broken. The long women are broken. Okay, you've done enough there. Fire the landsmen or something. My spears should win this engagement, I think. With that archer support that we did get there. These guys are really want to train. Look at them. The golden experience these guys have. They have done a lot of damage to me, though. They have. They have made a significant mark on my army. My melee line is completely and utterly destroyed. Three raiders remaining as well. They're not broken. Angmar infantry are broken. Savages, are we going to be able to break them soon as well? Certainly hope so. Yeah, they're broken. You can move in for the warriors. Cavalry, I want you to chase. I don't want these guys to return. Try and chase if you can. You should be able to hit. You're quite accurate. Focus these guys down. Honestly, all of you can do that. You're just going to chase these guys down and then focus down the ballista that is waiting outside. We've killed 78% of their army. Malcrap, what is this? Please get rid of that unit. Whose calls are broken. Well done. Well done. 
Angmar is going to be a tough opponent. I'm sensing it. Even though we are the High Elves. I'm sensing that they are going to be a problem for us. Looks like all of them are broken. Fall back with the few troops we have remaining. Did we kill the... Yeah, we did kill that one. Well done. Just go out from the settlement, Cav, and end these ballista crew, and then chase down as much as you can. 87%. Shaken. The battle is very much in our favor. Break the them. Will be ours. Are we gonna need a militia garrison here as well? Come on. The there we go. We have killed 93. I want to make sure that this army is utterly destroyed. Assassinate a few more troops here. Kill this unit as well, and then we're gonna quit out of this battle. Oh, that's enough. Exit. A heroic victory. We did lose our entire front line, though. We do not have any front line units anymore. And it's gonna be tough for us if they do attack us here again. The Spearmen did well, but they got so incredibly swamped, so they actually got destroyed. Uh, Ballista got two kills. Well, that's a wonderful work from you. <laughs> well, we have defended here. A successful defense. We need more troops here. Everything that is recruited needs to go up here straight away. Execution. Are they going to attack me straight away again? No, we'll get to rest for one turn. Good. Um, with them having Nochwaragla though, they could attack me at uh, Master Bladesmith's Guild. Let's get it. Snow Orc Dominion. They took it, didn't they? They took Mythelberg. Snow the Snow Orcs are doing well. We should really destroy this army. Because it's making the Dwarves of Casadum not do what they should. And what they should do is to focus Gundabad and not. We should absolutely try and destroy this army. I think we have to. Imladris, Noldorin Armourer. Good, good, good. Go for the Great Art Gallery. It's going to provide some extra trade. Bruinos Art Gallery. We're not going to go for a building here just yet. Austin Athilco Middle Farming. We're going for the Launch Town upgrade. The culture is at 75. It's going up, but it's going up really slow. Kamath Brian, Leather Worker. Blacksmith. Everything that can give us a bit of money. Thorin Salt, Communal Farming. Crop Rotation. Valen Council, Lombard's Culture. 34. Should we go for the next? Yeah, go for the next one. Quicken up the culture. In at Gehuzanur. Over here. Crop Rotation. Oh, maybe the Art Gallery here as well. Let's go for the Art Gallery there. Make the culture. Go faster. Public fountains here. Let's just go for the leather tanner here. That's the thing we can afford. Kildan, move towards Fuerost. Fuerost. Clans of the Vibe and Dunlendings. Oh, I'm so surprised. <laughs> Retrain him. Mithlond, Forlond, we're getting guys retrained. You're moving for Harland. That's gonna make us earn a bit more money. I really want to get all of my troops here out. These guys are so needed against Angmar. It's insane. All of them. Production, we're at number two. We are getting closer to being the power that we want to be. Okay. Ossinadil. Should we get this guy out of here? I think so. I want him in the north. He can keep the... Yeah, get this guy out. Get him out. You're moving out. Go for him, Ladis. Retrain yourself there. Get extra armor upgrade. And um, then move to the north. We need you up there. We need the Dunedain bodyguard expertise. Move in to Morvatarth. We're going to try and create another army. We're getting these guys quite soon. You can be retrained here. Retrain yourself. These guys should probably be able to be retrained as well. Yes, they can. 
Can we get the doing and dying thingy here? No, we cannot. Get these guys retrained. We need these spears. They're really good for us. They cannot reach, uh, but we cannot retrain them this turn anyway. So we are going to retrain them. These guys should move home as well and be retrained. We could march you though. Let's do that. And these guys are going back home to be retrained. To Mladris. Uh, can we risk getting a tower here? Just one tower there. We will need that one. Move back. Elf. They hate us here. Another army on the way. I think we can withstand that army. We should absolutely try and get the militia garrison here whenever we can. Uh, yes, my lord. For the light. These Elf. guys are not going to be able to reach. Come, my brothers. Oh, they are really showing it their presence here. Defeating you. Should we get Glorfindel inside? They cannot quite reach us though in this turn. Okay, that's good. We are going to finally take Tharbad. Bloody hell. Let's take it. Go for a night attack. Just go in here and take it. Tharbad, it's time for you to be destroyed. I'm so tired of Inner Dwight. Let's move in and let's take him. We have ladders. We can break through. Let's move in. Alright. Start deployment, we might lose some guys here. That's just how it is, uh, because um, they have towers and there's nothing we can do about it. You can drop that and take a ladder instead. You can drop your ladders because you do not have a shield. Uh, move away. You are going to take that. There we go. We're not going to use the ram at all. I don't think we need to. Just move up on the walls. My guys are going to be hurt. Let's start. Rush up on the walls quickly. Yeah, this is going to hurt us. Over here they have some clan heralds. Laird and Spearmen. Dubshith elders and Filane herders. Just go up on the walls. Have they stopped? Well then, if they have... St if they're going away from the... It doesn't look like they're... T okay, they are firing still. Okay. I wonder if my ladder is going to be destroyed here. Or something. Yeah, these guys are falling back. Clan Heralds. I mean, we are going to smash them in melee. With our units. Just go up on the walls and we are going to smash them. Make no mistake. They will be destroyed. We need to. We just need to move up quickly. <laughs> That's what we need to do here. And hopefully we're gonna do that. Just get them all up. These guys are likely to throw at me. These guys are moving up slowly but surely. We're getting shot at. Move down. Start fighting these guys. There we go. You are up. Fight the spearmen. Uh, not on the wall, though, ideally. Our soldiers have okay, I'll work, just fight Daddy. them then. Bloody hell. The enemy's walls belong to us now. You're broken through. Silence these herders. <sighs> They're doing so much damage to me with these... cavalry artists and towers and things like that. What you need to do, you need to push forwards and kill them as fast as you can. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Do we go for the gates? Yeah, let's go for I think we are going to heal a lot. It doesn't look like you can go for the gate. Even though you have the ram in your possession. Well, we cannot even break through the gate. That's weird. Well, drop it then. Move up. We're, we're gonna need you, probably. My guys here are winning the fight, but we're losing a lot of units. We are. But we are winning. And on the walls, we are winning as well. We are losing some lads here as well, though. Push forwards, just get rid of them. If Inundwyth reclaims Tharbad, we are not going to do it again. We cannot waste time here. We need to focus everything we have on Angmar with everything we have. Uh, we have tried to help the Northern Dunedain, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Have we killed everything here? I think we have. Yes, we have. And they do not have any presence here anymore. Let's send in the archers. 
And let's finish off their general with archers. If we can. Their towers are no longer firing anyways. Yeah. You're gonna be destroyed by Elrond and my other archers. You can run as well. You're, I, I, I'm telling you to run, but you're still walking. I'm not sure why um, you're not running, as I'm telling you to do. Feel free to start running. Are you running now? Some of you are, not everyone there. You're in position. Feel free to fire at them. Weaken them. There we go. We're killing them really hard here. And with the Noldor archers joining, we are going to kill these guys fast. They're here. Feel free to fire. End them. Could move even closer with you, honestly. Go as close as you can. Hit the targets. Oh, they're actually moving in for us now. It doesn't matter, though. Because we are annihilating them. They only have the general left. <laughs> He's tanking the shots. But not for long. There we go. Good. We lost a lot, though. We did. We healed a few, but not too many. Tharbad is ours, though. I'm happy about that. Let's sack it and let's try and give it to the Northern Dunedain. Let's see what is going to happen. Okay. Execution. There we go. Execute them all. Get rid of your faces from my face, please. <laughs> sack it. Bridge of Tharbad. Oh, this is a good region, though. This is a good region. Destroy that one. This is a good region. Dunedain, 6%. I'm not sure. We can get the Dunedain camp here. I mean... Hmm. Should we keep this region instead for a time? For a little while? Could you give me a tower, please? Uh, why cannot you get me a tower, Elrond? Can I construct a watchtower here? Well... There we can get a tower. Get a tower there, please. Move back. I mean, these guys are going to be able to defend here easily against these armies. I don't see an issue. But uh, I'd rather have the Northern Duna than have this. But I don't think they can hold it. That's the problem. I really don't think that they can hold this region. They're likely not going to get a garrison either. Oh, look at that. They're already besieging them here. Um, and a wife. So, I mean, uh, the Ard and I are probably going to lose it nonetheless to them. Um, so, well, let them lose it then. We did take Tharbad. I'm not sure that we want to give it away straight away, though. I think in order... Can we get a spy? Get a spy. We cannot get a spy because uh, we need to have the... Building, where is it? Where is it? On the, There we have it, this one. We need that building. Start by getting that one. Uh, get that, I want a spy. Can we get a spy here? No, we cannot. Elves. Bruinos, can you give me a spy? Yes, you can. Give me a spy, please. Okay. Yes, my good. Lord. We're moving in with him on this Morning. flank. That's good news for us. I have no idea when the Ardenheim invasion is going to happen. Likely soon. We have a solid defense here, though, in these regions, especially Mithlond. We have some really powerful troops here. I don't think we need to recruit more troops here. These guys should be enough, I think. And here, this is probably the weakest area. Over here, we have Cinder units. So I'm feeling rather confident there. But here. We do not have any elite troops, but these troops are still great. But I'm not sure it's going to be enough. It remains to be seen how many armies they have when they go for us. Okay. Uh, why don't you get this army out? Do something with this army, Northern Dunedain. Send it out. Take a settlement. Do something Sire. of worth. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Should we... Ah, I'm not sure. Let's end it up. We are going to keep Tharbad for now. We might not even give it away. For now we're going to keep it. But I really want Elrond and those troops up in the north. 
but at least we are taking some pressure from an Edwyth onto me. Uh, they're attacking me straight away here. Uh, let them, because they're not going to be able to penetrate Must these walls. These they're going to get destroyed at these walls, let me tell you. I'm really surprised that they are attacking me with that army. Do they have? Is that? A, do they only have like war wagons in that army? Is that why they're attacking? Angmar, what are you about to do? They didn't attack me. Okay. Ardenheim, are you going to attack me now? No, not yet. Rochendil, let's take you in. Tharbad, Bladesmith, why not? Let's get it. Faunus Assaulted. Elves, We're going in there. On. Retrain yourself as well. Tharbad has been repaired. We're going for this one. Uh, we're not going to get there in time, though. They attacked me with a pretty weak army. Mount Graham Artist Studio. We're going for the Militia Garrison straight away. They're sending armies our way here. Nothing important here. Sakala Art Gallery. Go for the Great Art Gallery here. Get get us more income. Mount Graham, we go for that, of course. Harland Blacksmith. Teleri Royal Barracks. Don't mind if I do. Let's get it. I'm really surprised that they're attacking me with that army. What's the Alter Assault saying? Oh, they're getting re reinforced. That's probably why. Well, let them be reinforced. Let them. It's not going to matter because my army is really powerful, the one we have here. Let them attack. It's actually good if they do because then we can get rid of those armies. Did we get the spy here? Yes, we did. I want you over here. Go over there. And I want you to move for Fornost because they're under siege there. Without question. Yes. Tomorrow's Yeah, they're under siege. I wonder. I don't think that Angmar is going to take it. I respect you, my enemy. Kenneth Breen, uh, some more troops has been recruited here. Really good. We need them all. You're going in. For You're going light. to be retrained. Onward. You're yes, going back there to be retrained. Retrain those. Do not their wardens. This is a good recruitment center for us. It really is. We could do this instead. Let's do that. That's going to save us at one turn. Send these guys up straight away. Don't wait. Get them up there. And all of these troops that we're getting here is going to be sent up north as well. For the light. Yep. Perhaps you seek a diplomat and not a they have Mythelberg and they're sending more armies. A lot of armies. They're sending a lot here. Dwarfs of Casadum, what are you doing? These armies, what are you doing with them? You have a lot of armies here doing nothing. Cassad volunteers, come on guys, do something. Gundabad is huge at the moment, and my army here is not huge. Are we going to need to send more forces in here? I think we have to. We have to send more armies in here. This one is done in two turns, but this army is likely to attack us in two turns. They have pale Uruks in this one. I am not a fan of the fact that we're fighting these guys. We could send in Glorfindel into the High Pass. With him inside, we would definitely be able to destroy this army, I think, without too many issues. He's just so powerful, he would be able to charge them all down. Remains to be seen, though. Let's see where they go with this army. If they go for the high pass, we're going to send Glorfindel down here in order to make sure that we have a chance. We could send some of these guys over as well, but I'd rather send these two units in there because they are going to be free upkeep as soon as the Noldogarn Hall is done. So the plan is these two units are going to be sent into the high pass. These three units are going to be sent up north against Angmar. Can you give me another watchtower? Elves. Yeah, Stay give me a watchtower there and move back to Mount Graham. Litash looks quite defended. My lord. Come, my brothers. 
you're just gonna move for Fyodos. It's not garrisoned. If we could fight them from this flank as well, they are gonna have a lot of issues. Uh, they are. We should really try and make these regions into recruitment centers as well. What type of recruitment can we get here? Nothing. No, we cannot get a single barracks or anything at uh, Guhuzanur. Okay, that's good to know. But for Hamgathol, we can get both the Teleri and the Noldor. Thorin's Halls, we can get the Noldor and the Teleri. That's really good. We should try and invest in military here as well, I think. Well, we're getting places, slowly but surely. Um, Fjordos is about to be attacked by Kirdan. We're getting the troops that we can get. We should probably try and make this a recruitment center. Get the troops that we can get here. We need them all. Get everyone. Get the Noldor God all here whenever we can. We need to be able to recruit more troops. Over here. Catapult and Ballista. Give me those. You are going to keep on moving. We need you. And I really do think that we need to wipe out this goblin army in order to make Casa Doom active. I think they are somewhat hesitant here. They want to focus the, this rebel army, and then they want to focus these guys, and then they want to focus the goblin army. I think this army is messing with Casa Doom. I think this is what making the, these armies not doing anything. I have a feeling that that could be the case. Well, uh, you cannot move in. You can move in. Move in with them. Uh, this is going to be a nice defensive location. We still haven't gotten any good... Can we get any mercenaries here? Elves. Nothing, I guess. Could you give me any mercenaries? Let's try and take a look with you. Nothing here. Elvereth. Nothing Over there. Here, okay. Yes, my lord. Come and get me. We are, they are not moving for Mount Graham. We should try and sneak in my lord. these melee yes, troops. My lord. Stand them over there. Come They're going to move in in the next turn. Well, we still have a lot of issues, Senator. We still have a lot of issues in this campaign. We do. And I could have made everything a lot easier if I would have done better choices in this episode. But uh, hey, the more fun, I guess. Clans of Elendil. Are you going to attack me? Not yet. Possibly in the next turn, then. If they're not attacking in the next turn, we should sally forth because we don't want them to attack us and just besiege us because we're going to lose troops that way as well. Uh, Gundabad. Yeah, you're attacking me, we but with a smaller army. A smaller army is attacking me here. Uh, nothing that I'm too worried about. That full stack, though, that is near Meithelberg, that's the army I'm afraid of. But that tiny army, I think we have... In the bag, I think we should be able to defend that. The Dunedain leader is dead again. Did they lose Fornost? All thank under siege. Fornost fallen. Angmar is really powerful. Yes, my lord. Look at them, Without they took it. Question. Yeah, they did. I would fight for your yeah, Angmar is. They are meaning business, Holy even though they're fighting Holy me, elves. attacker. Even though they're fighting me, the I'm Northern Dunedain, and Bree at the same time, they're doing well. I have to admit. Oh, they're blocking me. We won't be able to move inside. Bloody hell. They have these cavalry units as well. Guardians of Kondum. Just go over there. If they attack, you should withdraw back into the settlement, I think. Hopefully. Yes, my lord. Oh, did we fail the mission? Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't pay attention there, I guess. Mithlon Mining Network, come on, Adonai, invade me. That's what I want you to do. Get the lads here, everything here, get them. Maybe not yet, we're gonna focus on the buildings first. Mithlon Mining Network, <laughs> go for the communal farming, it's a cheap one. Fall on Blacksmith. Um, Armourer, let's go for that. Public baths here. 83% culture, 
but it's still making military garrison. Go for the art gallery. The next tier will be used to further our economy. Arlen Road, Hall of Music, Hall of Culture. Go for that straight away. Garthella, go for Leather Tanner. What's the culture? 17%. Mm. Well, go for the Ballista Maker whenever we can afford it. Yeah, the Orcs of Gunnabad. They really are a pain in the bat. But. <laughs> in the bat. Uh, I cannot even speak this day. I cannot speak. These guys have been completed though. And they have been upgraded as well. A little bit with their armor. That is good news. Kemeth Brin, these guys have been retrained. Uh, let's take a look at this army. What do they have? Paylorux, Ballista, Black Shield Warband. This is a scary army. I, I mean, they, their armies are scary. I'm afraid of these armies. Pale Uruks. Are we going to need to send something down there? These guys can reach. Let's get them as close as they possibly can. Yeah, they are going to reinforce from that position. I think we are going to need these guys in there. If I'm completely honest. You guys are going to try and move th to that location as well. Both of you, move there. You're going in to be retrained. These guys are moving north. Straight away. You're going in there for a turn. Yes, my lord. What do they have in these smaller armies? We could potentially kill one of them off. Let's take a look. We have a lot of issues. We have a lot of issues. You need to move north. We need you there. These bastards are still attacking me with this army only. War wagons, skirmishers. These are missiles. Foresters are missiles. These are pretty good. They're really good, these foresters. If they're not attacking in the next turn, we are going to sell it forth in the next turn. I'm guaranteeing you that. Absolutely, we are. Culture. What's the culture at Ostenethil now? 76. We're getting there. I think we should be able to queue this one up finally. We need Dorno Norston. You are headed for this army again. Please. Destroy it. What we could do, what we could do here, I think we should, uh, because then they're going to support. I think we should do this. Yeah, I think this is the best thing we could do, because then they are going to support in this fight, and we are going to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, this is the best way to do it. They have a, this is a scary army though. It is. They have a flame wrangler, a defiler, mountain uruks. This is a decent goblin army. It is. Can we reinforce with anything more here? No. Can we get any mercs? No, no mercs. Mercs. <laughs> Can you give me any mercs? No. No mercs. No mercs. Not a single mercenary unit for the entirety of this campaign. I am sad. Um... Is there anything weak we could send in? Um, you know what, these archers, I want them to go back to Kenneth Brin. I want these guys to move for Movatoth straight away. Keep strengthening it um, with everything we have. Well, let's take the fight with the goblins. Um, let's do it. Let's move in. Let's hope that we can win here. What we are going to try and do with our cavalry here is to try and destroy their flame wrangler first of all. And then harass down the defilers, I think. If we do that, I think we're going to have victory. Let's move in and let's take down Gam, this rebel army. Let's move in. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait. I want a clear view. There we go, start deployment, and let's start the battle straight away. The dwarves are moving in from this location. The goblins are really quite close to me, from the get-go. Uh, we need to get to this, because this one can do a lot of damage. They have cell swords. Of course, the general is in a cell sword unit, uh, because he's a rebel general. That's what they do. Asox Defilers, that's a unit we really want to try and harass. If we can. 
Hopefully these dwarves are going to do something. They have a lot of generals in in this army. They have some cow as well. well that's good. This is an early tier dwarven army. They don't have any late game troops at all. They should start getting some. They're going to need that against Gundabad. We should try and capture Mythelberg again as well. And give it away again when we take this. Uh, after we have defeated this one. But we don't have the forces at the moment to do that. Blackbeard archers, just harass whatever you can. Uh, they can reach me. Just kite back, don't let them fire. Do not let them fire at us. Those Asoks to fight. Let's see if we can start harassing those guys down it, then. Dwarves. Uh, I really would like you to start moving. To help me a bit here. The Defilers are standing over there. Take this hill here. With the cab. And start harassing those guys down. Yeah. Fire the Defilers. There we go. We're weakening them quite hard here. This is good. These guys are tough. So it's actually really good if we can weaken them. It looks like they're moving for the Dwarven army now. No? Not all of them. We're doing really well against the Defilers. If we can destroy this entire unit without them being used. I'm going to be a happy man. Oh, we are doing it. We're doing it. Well done. Yeah, they're getting annihilated. There we go. The Defilers are no more. Another unit that is great to weaken is the Mountain Uruks. Well, great. Okay, they're moving for me. Kite back. Take down these wargs. Why not? There we go. They've been destroyed. They're moving in with some cell swords. That's the general. Feel free to harass him then. We're weakening them quite hard here as well. There we go. We've done a lot of damage to them. The dwarves. It doesn't look like they want to fight. We could try and charge the cell sword general here. And uh, possibly kill him that way. And they are. Oh, but they have wargs here though. That's scary. Do we risk charging him? I'm not sure that we want to. Dwarves, you need to start moving. <laughs> Why are you not doing anything? Come on! Are you waiting for this unit to get into position? Let's risk it. Let's go for a charge. Let's risk it. No one will remember a coward. Slow down the speed. They're firing at me. Let's take a look and see if we can kill the general here if we're lucky. I don't think we did. No, we did not. But we did a lot of damage to him. So that is great. Go away. We're shaken here from those uh, poison arrows. Move back. We don't want to risk getting broken here. Oh, they can actually reach me. Fall back even further. The Cell Sword General is weakened. Yeah, he's really weakened. We should try that again. Uh, the Dwarves are still not doing a single thing. Come on. Bloody hell. You need to start doing something. Are we going to try and bait them over to each other? Yeah, let's try. You're going to try and charge these guys again. And they're doing it. You can charge as well, honestly. Let's try and bait them towards each other. Let's see if we can kill the general this time. We're charging straight from the front, though. You're not going to move in. Uh, we didn't do too much damage there. They're moving for me. Cut back. Is it this unit here that is making it? I'm not sure. 15 remaining. Go take this position here and charge from this side and we should be able to kill the general. Try and bait them to go after me uh, so that the, these armies actually clash. Oh, they're moving away now. Dwarfs, come on. Are you going to make us lose by not doing anything? They're not doing a single thing here. Oh, come on, dwarfs. Please. The goblins are moving at least. Now yeah, we're gonna try and bait them towards my cab if we can. You're getting shot at by something. Pull back. Oh, did you actually break? No? I think I misclicked. Oh, how on earth are we gonna do this? It doesn't look like they want to go for me. 
Oh, their flame wrangler is firing at me. Let's go for a charge on the flame wrangler. Let's go for a charge. The cell swords are over there. Go for a charge on them. Yeah, they're firing up. They might kill their own troops here. Let's see if we can kill the general here. He's moving in for us. Let's see. He's gonna eat the charge straight to his face. No, he didn't die. We did kill a few. Let's stay in combat with these guys here. Dwarfs, for the love of God. Are you moving now? No, I'm not sure what you're doing. Come on, dwarfs. Do something. Okay, we're getting shot at again. What do we do? Black pit crossbows are moving for me. Kite back slowly. They need to clash. The armies needs to clash. Otherwise, we are going to lose this fight as well. Go for them again. Kill this orc general. I think their entire army is just going to break quickly. As long as we kill this guy. It looks like they're finally moving. It doesn't matter if my cab breaks. And runs away. Just as long as the armies clashes. There we go, he's dead. Well done. We're baiting them to chase us here. Yeah? The dwarves are still not doing any anything at all. Flame Wrangler. They're charging me, actually. I'm not gonna run away from them. I'm gonna walk. I'm going to walk because they're following me. If we run, they're not gonna chase me, so... Uh, the Amanya Rangers are just gonna walk. Go for a charge on the Flame Wrangler. It, look, look, they're actually following me. I think if we just walk with the Rangers, I think we might start the fight here. I'm hoping so. Keep walking. As long as these guys are not moving in against me, just walk. Yeah, there we go. I'm starting to see some movement. Yeah, I think the fight might have started. I think you're gonna start moving now. How does it look here? The balance of the force. Just pull up and charge them again. Are they returning again? I think they might. The Warg Riders are definitely going to be smashed here by the Dwarves. The Dwarves are finally moving. We killed them, I think. Uh, get this cab over to the other side now. Where the fighting is happening. Take cover here. Oh, these guys, are they going to die? I think so. Take the safe road. Go back here. Just let their ar armies clash. And I think they've finally clashed. You're moving back to safety. Let them do the rest of the fighting here. Snagger's skirmish are broken. Everyone's broken. We have done the heavy lifting for them already. Because we have br killed their captain. These guys are going to break easily. Yeah, these wolf riders. We actually killed the Azogs Defilers as well. Oh, here we have some merchant cavalry moving in. Again, some goblin infantry. Nice charge. Well done. That was a decent charge. Good job. Let them do it on their own. Let the dwarves do it. This is really good because then this army is going to be utterly destroyed. We can actually help a little bit here. We can charge them in the back or something. Yeah, these guys are broken. Everyone is broken almost. I'm going to try and help. If we charge these guys on the side, we might be able to break them. Maybe not, but we did some damage. I don't want to lose my captain. We might have a chance of getting... Yeah, we did break them, that's good. We have a chance of getting the man of the hour here if we're lucky. I'm not sure why they're trying to chase everything. It's better if we do that and they focus on their actual army instead. Go for a charge on these guys. Let's try and break them. There we go, they're broken. The enemy are there we go, we're not going to continue the fight and the battle because this rebel army is going to die now. I think it was really worthwhile doing this fight here because then uh, this rebel army is gone. The dwarves of Casa Doom do not need to focus on this um, rebel army anymore. 
So, um, yeah, it was a good fight, I think. It was worth it. It was absolutely worth it, I think. Uh, this arm is gone. Uh, hopefully they can focus now on Gundabad instead of this rebel army. You're going to move back to Austin, uh, quickly. We should really try and get some military buildings here when we have gotten the Gwaithi Mirdain. Uh, let's queue it up. We, we need to save some money for this building as well. Okay, uh, let's end the turn. We have a few defenses that we need to take care of. I'm afraid of this army. I really am. Uh, the Pale Uruks especially. But we have these three units and three defenders. I think we can do it. One thing we should try and do. What do they have in this army here? They have some cavalry. I'm going to move out. I'm not going to take the Ballista with me. Take this army out. They only have longbowmen, huskals, and landsmen. They are ranged. Um, well, move in. Let's let's just move in. Let's take him out. Let's uh, get rid of them. Let's move in. Put an end to this evil. I think we outranged them quite hard. Melee forces, you're not going to be used at all in this fight. You can pull back to the side. Cavalry, you're going to be used though. Start deployment. Okay, they have the hill there. That's not good. Uh, take this position here if you can. Quickly. They have one unit of longbowmen. And they have been upgraded as well. You can take. You can see that on their armor look. They have been upgraded. Uh, these guys are not a problem. Uh, but their archers are a problem. Stand up with that. Stand up with that and fire as, as soon as you can. Are these guys firing? No, they're not firing. Uh, you. Just... No, oh, they cannot see them. Cavalry, let's try and move you in. Try and spot them for us. You can move up a little bit to get into range for these longbowmen, please. Shouldn't be too long. Okay, we've spotted them. Good. Uh, you are not... Okay, just fire at these guys then. Fire at them. They're throwing at me. Take that off. On. Start firing at them. Just harass them a little bit. Because you're in range. Focus down the longbowman now. You are in range as well. Focus down the longbowman. We should win uh, this fight. Let's see what you can do, Cavalier. Can you do something? Let's start harassing the Huskals down. And they're moving in with their javelins. Feel free to harass them. I'm afraid of these Angmarin forces. They're actually pretty solid. They are not that bad at all. They are good troops. They have decent units. In their faction. They do. These longbowmen. They have a really nice armor value of 11. That's really good for archers. It really is. It's going to make them far stronger. Oh, they're moving back. Keep up the harassing. Oh, they seem to be really spread out here. You can focus the landsman. All of you are going to focus them. Cavalry. Uh, keep up the fire on these longbowmen. And charge them now. You're out of ammunition anyway. Just go in for a charge quickly. See how much damage we can do. There we go. They have their backs turned against me. There we go. That was a seriously wonderful charge right there. Might even break them here. No, maybe not. No, they're not going to break. They're not. They're too strong and sturdy for that. But we did do a lot of damage to them. As long as these guys are not supporting an eventual attack here, I'm happy. It's really important that we take these guys out. 
Oh, we're really close to each other. We're really close to each other. Bloody hell. Pull back. Another charge in their backs. We might be able to break them with this, I hope. I have seven remaining. We have killed the captain, but they're still not broken. They have a good morale, those guys, I guess. They're too close. Fall back. Just try and move into... Oh, bloody hell. Just go into a standard formation then, because you're glitching out in the wide formation, I guess. Go for another charge on them. This should probably be the last charge. Okay, they're moving back. Go closer to them. Go over there. This should surely end them. Yeah, I think so. Oh, they're throwing at me. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. It did. Yeah, it did. Please fire the landsman now. I think everyone of you is firing at them. We are weakening them. Just, you know what? Go into melee. You're gonna cut it back. Cavalry, you're gonna charge those landsmen in the back. Let's just go into melee with our general. He's gonna replenish anyways. Um, just go for a charge on them. In the back, and they should die. Pop the ability as well. I think they should break from this. I think they're still firing the javelins, though. Yes, they are. Oh, it's hurting a lot. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, they're shaken. You can fire at these guys whenever they're in range. We need to charge them quickly again here. Where, where are you? Over there, he seems to be quite safe. Go for another charge quickly. Try and break them. You're firing at these guys here. They should break from this, surely. Surely they should break. They're wavering. Come on. Oh, just break. Just flipping break. Stay in here. Stay in here until they break. You're still firing at these guys, that's good. They're broken. Good, you're gonna chase, you're gonna fire at these guys. Good. Bloody hell. These Angram troops are tough. Tougher than I thought. Are they moving for my infantry? I do believe that they are. Go as close as you can and just fire as many shots on them. You can run to this path here. Are oh, they fleeing? I go for my cab. Let Eladan do as much damage to them as possible. He should be able to weaken them quite hard. He is an excellent archer. Yeah, there we go. Uh, stop firing. Kill them all. End them. Good, even though it was a this tiny army, it kind of posed a little bit of a threat nonetheless. Uh, this army is utterly gone. Good, well done. Get rid of them. Good, let's move back into Mount Graham again. Enemy camp sack. We got a few extra gold coins with that. Uh, yeah, let's move back in. It was actually good that we got rid of them. Three turns until the, until the militia garrison is done. We need that here. Uh, they are likely going to attack me. I really want these guys to join in though. We need more melee forces here. These guys. We could move a Glorfindel. We could send Glorfindel here. I mean, he could reach. I think we should. Yeah, send Glorfindel here. Just so that we are absolutely sure that we are going to win this fight. With Glorfindel, we're definitely going to win this fight. And honestly, yes, my lord. For the light, we should move. I'm not sure where we should strike, though. They have so many places that are dotted around. I think we should maybe strike straight for Khan Dum. Because that's their most important... Re Look at their armies. They have so many armies. Come, my brothers. Uh, I think we should maybe strike at Khan Dum, but we need more light. siege Elven if we want to go Elven there. Me. And if we want to for go the to the... Light. To Kondum, I think we need to wait for these guys to reinforce. Yes, my lord. For the light. All of them are going to be needed. Elven 
We have a catapult here. We need more than that, though. Bruinost. Anon Rod is getting these things, but it's gonna take some time. Well, uh, it's a tough campaign. It really is. Agmar is a tough opponent. It looks like they really have a lot of power left in them. And um, it's actually quite nice that they have 47%. I think we should focus on military buildings here. Yeah, get both of these buildings. Um, both the Teller Barracks and the Noldo Guard on here straight away. Want them to be queued up. And I really want the Adonaim invasion to happen now. Ships ready. We want it to happen. We need it to happen. So that we can free up all of these forces here and send them towards Angmar. Follow me. We're wasting so much of our resources at the moment at Mithlond, Forlond and Harlond. We are. Way too much resources are wasted there. And I really need to end this episode here. I've been recording for... I think this is going to be the longest episode that I've ever recorded. It feels like it. It feels like it's almost three hours, it could be. This has been a long one. And finally, Enedwyth is attacking me at, at uh, Tharbad. They won't stand a chance whatsoever. They're not going to break through here. There's no way for them. Absolutely not. Um, this fight is going to take place in the next episode, though. I need to rest now from this recording. I've been recording for a long time. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all.